And on top of all of that, Chicago will be losing out on $434 million in business from the cancellation of Lollapalooza, the Air and Water Show, and Taste of Chicago. That announced today. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into the expected financial damages. North Avenue Beach won't see close to the 1.5 million visitors that it usually does for the Air and Water Show, but it's the economic toll that will leave a lasting impact on the local economy here in Chicago. Chicagoans had been holding out hope for some semblance of a normal summer. But that's not going to happen. Bringing that many people from all over the country downtown in Grant Park every single day, we might as well just light ourselves on fire. It makes no sense. Today's announcement canceled all large outdoor events through Labor Day, replacing them with virtual options, according to the Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events, which aren't going to be able to make up the hundreds of millions of dollars worth of impact to the local economy. The Air and Water Show contributes about $78 million in total business activity. The Taste of Chicago sends another $106 million into the pockets of local businesses. But the biggest blow, according to researchers at Angelou Economics, is the $250 million generated by Lollapalooza, which was only expected to grow in 2020. So you would have expected bigger numbers this year? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, each of these festivals tend to grow just a little bit each year, and Lollapalooza is certainly one of those standard bearers for like the must go to festivals, at least in the U.S., for sure. Matt Patton says 2,400 jobs will be impacted by the cancellation of the four day festival in Grand Park, and about half of the attendees are out of towners who otherwise might not have a reason to come to Chicago and spend tens of millions of dollars on hotels, shopping, bars and restaurants, and transportation. So they're specifically coming to, in this case, Chicago, and spending that money that could have been spent elsewhere in Chicago. The majority of programming at the Riverwalk Cultural Center and Millennium Park also canceled as of today. The city is planning to put on 150 or so events, mostly virtual or drive-in options. For more information on those events, head to our website and click this story. In North Avenue Beach, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.